Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we'll be looking at uh, combining multiple dictionary files to create one super huge dictionary which we can use within the Python environment. Now a dictionary file is a file which contains all, almost all of the words in a particular language. So uh, we're going to be, well, what we're going to be doing today is combining uh, the UK dictionary and the US dictionary. Um, they are different, believe it or not. And um, we're going to be combining those two together. So that's about 150 odd thousand words from A to Z. Um, firstly, we've got to find these dictionary files. So what we can do is we can go to, I found a great website. It's called karamasoft.com and you can have Afrikaans, Bulgarian, Catalan, Croatian, Czech, all these languages, including many different English dictionary files. So what I did is I downloaded a, um, uh, uh, the American version here. I found the British version on GitHub. So GitHub also has dictionary files from when other people have used them and shared them. So what I did, is, what I did then is download the TXT file or the .dic uh, file, which is a dictionary file into um, a directory which the Python environment recognizes. And then now those files are stored, ready to be imported into our Python. So what we have to do now is bring it in and ready and manipulate it so that it can be used. So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, let me zoom in. First thing we're gonna do is create an empty list where all these words are going to go. So that's our empty list created. Notice we have uh, the code written down here. I just want to make sure I, uh, I get it right and the, I don't waste time in debugging or trying to sort out any errors that I might get. So first thing we do is we're going to create our first, import our first dictionary using the open command. All you need because it's in a recognized um, directory in, that Python uses, we, all we need is the name of the file. And this file is called Brit A to Z. And then you also need the extension number. So uh, be wary of getting it right. Otherwise, it won't work. And then, so that's what, what we've done here is we've created an empty list and we've imported the first dictionary file, which is the British A to Z dictionary. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop over each word in the British dictionary and uh, add it to this dictionary. So for I in F1, so we're going to do a for loop and then we're going to append it. Let's do I to start with. And then let us print UK. Uh, what happened there? Dipped. So let's print it, see what we have. So if you look on our output on the right, just below where you can see my face, you will see that they have lots of words. But you will also see that all the words have a backslash N because all these words in the TXT file are a new line. So we have to get rid of that backslash n to make the whole words that are recognized and usable. So what we do is we, where it says this i here, we simply put i dot replace, get the brackets in. So what we're doing here is we're replacing the old text with the new text. What we want to do is get rid of the backslash n. So we just put backslash n and we want as a new text nothing. So we're going to put leave that blank. And then we rerun it. You'll see that all those backslash n's, if you go back to the output, have gone. So now this is our British A to Z dictionary file imported and ready to use. So that's number one. Next thing is to add the US one. So what we're going to do is do precisely that. So we're going to have F exactly the same. In fact, let's just make it easier. Let's just copy 
all of this anything to make things a bit quicker and then we're going to uh, call this us dict .d. and this is a dic file so be careful i had big problems when creating this code because i just couldn't figure out for ages why this file wasn't loading and it's because it's a different extension number so be very careful with that and i'm literally going to just use another for loop instead of for i though we're going to have for j and we're going to do exactly the same thing replace the backslash n because everything will be a new line with a space and then replace that for f2 and then that will now be added to the uk dictionary file that'll be added to this list here so all we have to do now is run it. It might take a while because it's literally 150 or 1,000 words, this one list. So it's still running, still going through it. And I believe it or not, I think it is done. So let's check this. So you've got, so we should have A to Z twice on the output. So if we look down here on the right, below my face. So you have Z ending in the Zymergy. Didn't even know that was a word. And oh, there's a motorbike going outside. So D, C, B, A, there's the A, and then we have back to Z and up to A. Okay. So that seems to be working well. And, um, that is it. That's what we're going to do uh, in terms of coding for this session. But what can this be used for? Well, I don't know if you have, if in hacking, people use dictionary files to literally run through every word in the English language against a password and see if it's correct. Um, in just words, you can now pull out words and things like that. You can also use it to have create fun codes like anagrams and word games. And you can also use this this now as uh, a reference for, I don't know, books, texts, anything. Uh, so it can be very useful and I really hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like it and don't forget to check out my other uh, tutorials on my channel. Thanks very much for watching.